Capricorn, what is up, my dear? Welcome to your weekly reading for October 30th to November 5th. Take resonates, leave the rest. Do not force it to fit. And this is for all Capricorn placements, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Capricorn. October 30th to November 5th. I heard be steady, be steady. Um, I feel like there's a need to, I wouldn't say necessarily organize, but maybe like just move slower. Allow yourself to flow. Allow yourself to get into, yeah, six of swords, which is the flow. It's almost like learning to shift from the feminine, I mean, from the masculine to the feminine, getting out of this working like crazy with the eight of pentacles and moving to the six of swords of knowing that you're heading in the right direction and everything's moving very smoothly for you. You don't need to keep kind of like stomping the pavement, hoping that you're going to break ground. It's already happening. Yeah, three of swords. And this is about healing this little voice inside your head that says you got to do, 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 and be, be, be for everyone around you. No. Mm -mm. With the two of swords in between the two, it's about learning to open your heart and learning to receive, which is the feminine. Getting into the feminine space of learning to be receptive, right? So let's see what else we got for you, Capricorn. For October 30th to November 5th. I heard spread the news, spread the news, and then I heard somebody new. Judgment in reverse. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is the return of somebody before the new person comes. Uh, judgment in reverse, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. There's some, I just heard inconsistency really loud. There's an, in, okay. This person's words and actions are not aligning. Something's not, something's not right. It just doesn't feel, it's really strange. We went from you doing this healing. I think this person's going to come in and kind of push this button of like, you're not enough or you need to do more or you, you always expect so much of others, but you don't hold yourself to the same. It feels like that because the eight of pentacles is like the workhorse. It's like this diligence, this uh, commitment. It's that day-to-day -day practice of something. And if you are being very critical of your day-to-day -day practice and not implementing care or nurturing of yourself into that, you might have somebody come in and kind of poke at that wound just so you could heal it, right? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing. You're moving towards a lot of abundance. Yeah, you're very, very masculine right now, though. Very, very productive. Very, very invested, even emotionally, Knight of Cups with what it is that you're building. And I love this for you. Everything's, like I said, you don't have to stomp the pavement. You're already breaking ground. You're already doing great. It's about allowing yourself to believe that, to like really think that and have that thought process and that energy. Because right now your energy is like, okay, I'm still in the process of healing my inner critic, right? But it's already healed. It's already healed. Let's look at this five of swords, three of swords. You're doing great. Yeah, hangman, surrender this. Let this go. You've already healed this. You've already healed it. Don't hold on to it out of familiarity. Don't hold on to it because a part of you identifies with it. Like, let it go. Like, you know that you are wealthy. You are successful. You are hardworking. You are loving and nurturing and caring and reliable. You are all of those things. Allow yourself to celebrate that. Celebrate what you have done. Celebrate what you've accomplished. With the hangman in reverse, it tells me that you need to change the lens that you're wearing and that you're in the process of doing so. Six of wands. It's about giving yourself that recognition, right? The devil and the queen of cups. There's a part of you that's fearful of receiving recognition from yourself or from others. The part of you that's like, if someone says, hey, you're doing great, or look at all the progress you've made, right? You might be like, yeah, I could be doing this though. I could be doing that. So allow yourself to say, you know what? Fuck yeah. I have made a shit ton of progress and I'm proud of myself and that's okay. That's okay. It's because the devil just rules. It's just fear. It's attachment. It's insecurity. It's those little voices that keep us inside the circle that the ego knows how to protect us in. And when we start to progress and become bigger and bigger, that means that our circle needs to expand because we're taking up more space. And the ego's like, wait, no, I only like this size circle. Don't go making shit bigger because that means I have to change. I have to let go of beliefs and insecurities and allow myself to step out my comfort zone, right? And that comes with nurturing the self and allowing yourself to be nurtured by others. Let's look into who this is. Let's look at judgment. 
I feel this in my solar plexus, which is very self-worth. Seven of Wands, very defensive. Page of Cups, Five of Swords. I'm not buying their shit. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm not buying it. It irritates me. Immediately irritates me. It's very like, hey, like I miss you and I want to talk to you. Or there's something that's really upset me about the past that like I just need closure on. Like there, it's almost like someone's coming to you and they're saying one thing, but it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with it. They're just really struggling to let go. They're struggling to let go because as we start to shift into new spaces, you're going to realize that you're shifting away from certain relationships that don't resonate with the new self you are now becoming, right? So this is probably somebody in your life that has felt the relationship begin to dwindle or it's already dwindled. And now that you're about to step into this emperor energy, this very successful, confident version of you, but also the version of you that knows how to nurture yourself as well, and you start to heal your feminine too, they're like, oh my gosh, I feel you separating, but it's not separation. It's you're going to a different state of consciousness. Your frequency, your energy is changing. So it no longer resonates with them. So they're feeling it as loss or missing or detachment. When really it's just change and that's okay. I don't trust this person. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. I will say there's something off about this. I think that they've done a lot of work on themselves at this point when they come in. I'm not going to say they haven't. They have. I think that they have a pretty, it's, there's just inconsistencies. It's almost like, yes, they love themselves. Yes, they're in a better place. Yes, they, I'm. Mean, they're immature. That's really what it is. It makes me cringe. It makes me cringy because it's, I feel like they're trying to come in and almost be a teacher, be very wise and like, look, I've done so much healing and I'm so great and I've done all this. Look, it's awesome. It's awesome that you've done work. It's also you've done healing. But like when you get to that place where you want to teach because part of you still feels insecure, you don't think highly of yourself and you want to prove to somebody that you're worth their time and attention. It's just making it clear that there's still more healing to do, Right. It's not making it clear that, ooh, you're worthy of being like a teacher. We're, we're all teachers. We're all students, right? Everybody's a teacher. Everybody's a student. You don't need X amount of knowledge or X amount of healing to bring a sense of new awareness to somebody's life and teach them something. You don't. You can be exactly who you are. It's not, the, the two don't, no, they don't, they don't reflect one another whatsoever. Uh, Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords. They know how to express their self-love they know how to move in a way that they really do love themselves um i feel like they're starting to connect with their personal power but they don't know what to do with it and you might have been somebody in their life that brought them a lot of clarity or a sense of direction and so i feel like whatever it is they're approaching you with isn't the real reason they're coming in i feel like it's just like hey i want to learn from you but i don't want to admit that i want to learn something from you there's something going on here, and it feels very power struggle like. They want to reconcile. Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse, though. So, with them on the Seven of Pentacles, they really want to reconcile. You have the Three of Cups there, which is reconciliation. But with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is very non committal. It tells me that it, they might want to reconcile, but they might be doing it impulsively at this time. It's not to say that you won't reconcile eventually, but there's still more healing to do. There's more healing to do on an individual level. And once that healing is done, then you can have this very new beginning. I want to look at the Four of Cups. This feels like the person you're dealing with. Six of Swords in reverse and Temperance. Yeah. I love everybody on the planet. I do. I love everybody. Sometimes I want to shake people and just be like, listen, just allow things to play out how they need to. <laughs> like, it's okay. Temperance in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. It's not time to move forward yet. And I think that this person's just feeling really rejected. And I, that's why with the devil underneath, they just have to release this feeling of like, I'm not worth it, or they don't love me, or they don't want me, or they, they wanted whatever this 10 of pentacles is to them more, right? Capricorn just wanted to build their finances or their career, or they wanted to work on those other relationships and they didn't deem me a 
significant. But look, I've done all the work. I love myself now, but I don't know what to do with myself now that I've gotten to this place. And they're still looking for that sense of wholeness through this connection. And that's why it's not time yet. The universe is like, no, they need to realize like they have everything they need within themselves. They have it all. When they heal that, that is when they'll have this new beginning. That's when they can reconcile. That's when these two people can come together and have something very healthy together. Okay, my dear. It's a shame. Everybody will get there when they're meant to get there. And that's a hard, that's a hard thing to accept. Let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Any final messages? Spiritual contracts and relationships, angels in reverse and the throat chakra in reverse, right? Rebalancing karma. This is about the healing of these relationships, but not just relationships external to us, our relationship with ourselves, our relationship with our higher power, our relationship with the word relationships, right? It's understanding that relationship is more than something we share with another human or another spirit. It's also things that we share with all the energy around us. Okay, so it's a greater understanding and a greater awareness of what our true relationship is, right? What's our truth? What's your relationship with your truth? With angels in reverse, you are supported. Divine intervention is at play. This tells me that there might be a little bit of fear and of leaning into the divine plan versus trying to dictate the plan of your own, right? Allow your plan to kind of just wash away and allow the universe to be like, hey, look at this beautiful red carpet I'm unraveling for you. Go walk on down it and look at all the goodies I got for you, right? Throat chakra, speak your truth and be authentic. Um, I think so often people perceive speaking their truth as being like really rude or sassy or really direct. Like there's very loving ways to just say your truth, right? There's loving ways to say like, hey, like I love you. I want the best for you. But right now I think we're moving in very different directions and I need to focus on myself, on my work, on my mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic health, whatever it is, right? Or I need to focus on my health and I have too much on my plate and I cannot give this the attention it deserves, nor do I have the space to. So I need to separate from it right now, right? There's healthy ways to be very honest, to be very upfront with people. It's just a matter of being self-aware. If you want a personal reading to look into your own situation, go ahead, look it down below. I'm also a master Reiki practitioner and shamanic healer. My background's in biology and psychology, and I'm a mentor. So spiritual mentoring, normal life coaching, shamanic mentoring, and more. So if you want to book any of those services or you'd like to become a certified Reiki practitioner yourself, all of my services are offered globally and my Reiki 2024 classes in person in North Carolina are posted for you to sign up on. And I look forward to seeing you there. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye Capricorn.